Hi hey everyone, uh, in this video what we will see is we will use uh, transform techniques to solve uh, problems on integration or uh, especially what we want to do was uh, I want to take this problem, solve or find or evaluate, let me write evaluate integral 0 to infinity dx divided by x square plus d square into x square plus b square using transform techniques. Yes. So how do I do that? Solution. Simple. All that I want to look at here is, I want to see this problem as integral 0 to infinity, 1 divided by x square plus a square times 1 divided by x square plus b square into dx into dy. And uh, probably what I will do is, I will write this as integral 0 to infinity f of x into g of x dx square f of x equal to 1 divided by x square plus c square and g of x equal to 1 divided by x square plus b square. Now, how am I going to solve these problems? Um, no, actually, if I do this, so I will have problems. So, what I will do is I will not take this as f of x and g of x and solve this problem, whereas I am going to take different f of x and g of x and going to get this as an output, that's what I have to plan. So, I will start with f of x equal to e to the power minus ax and g of x equal to e to the power minus bx. I am assuming that a and b both are greater than 0. Now, why I have to look at this f and g? Because remember, uh, e to the power minus ax um, Fourier cosine transformation and uh, sine transformation is somewhere similar to a divided by a square plus a square, right? So that's why. Uh, now, all that I'm going to plan or all that I'm going to do is I'm going to say that uh, uh, the Fourier cosine transform of uh, this is actually equal to Fourier cosine transform of this and Fourier trans cosine transform of uh, sine transform of this, and hence, uh, uh, or in other words, if this is equal to a uh, Fourier cosine transform of something and Fourier sine transform of something, then whoever that function is, I just have to integrate them. So here I have the guess that Fourier cosine transform of e to the power minus ax will be either one of this. I mean, in fact, uh, somewhere in the 1 divided by a square plus a square along with some constants. Therefore, I can solve this problem very easily. So that's the guess. Now, it, by taking f of x equal to e to the power minus ax, we also know uh, what is the Fourier cosine transform of f of x, which is integral, uh, sorry, two, uh, square root of 2 by pi into integral 0 to infinity f of x into cos sx dx. Uh, you already know you have solved this problem, right? Remember, the first problem I think I have solved in Fourier cosine is uh, Fourier cosine and trans, uh, Fourier cosine transform and uh, sine transform is this problem. Uh, which is square root of 2 by pi into a divided by a square plus a square. Refer to the Fourier cosine and sine transform problems. Here. So the next one is Fourier sine transform of, uh, uh, sorry, Fourier cosine transform of g of x, which is similar to that is uh, square root of 2 by pi into b divided by a square plus b square. Now, what we know here is, if you look at the previous property that I have discussed, so I will write by a property, integral 0 to infinity Fourier cosine transform of S into Fourier cosine transform, uh, Fourier cosine transform of F and Fourier cosine transform of G is,
integral 0 to infinity f of x into g of x into dx. Okay. That means integral 0 to infinity Fourier cosine transform of this f, which is square root of 2 by pi into a divided by a square plus a square. Uh, sorry, let me write a square plus a square into square root of 2 by pi into b divided by a square plus b square into ds is equal to integral 0 to infinity f of x into d of x which is e to the power minus ax into e to the power minus bx into dx. Okay, fine. That means I can write this as integral 0 to infinity. Remember 2 by pi can be taken outside. And this is a divided by a square plus a square. What was the question? So let me bring out this question. This question was simply 1 divided by a square plus a square. So I will write uh, a as also outside and b also outside. So I can erase the c inside. And so this is 1 divided by a square plus a square times 1 divided by a square plus b square into ds is equal to integral 0 to infinity e to the power course this is minus a minus b times x into dx. Now what is this now? Therefore this is integral 0 to infinity 1 divided by a square plus a square times a square plus b square into ds is equal to this is pi by 2ab times integral 0 to infinity this one. So this is easy no? So what is the integration of this? This is e to the power minus a minus b times x divided by uh, minus a minus b. And the limit is 0 to infinity. And hence, this is actually equal to pi divided by 2ab times, uh, if you substitute in infinity, so both of them are negative, And therefore, this is going to be 0. So the upper limit is 0 minus the lower limit is 1 divided by minus a minus b which is minus of a plus b. So minus and minus which cancel here and hence this is phi divided by 2 into a b into a plus b. So remember the left hand side was simply integral 0 to infinity 1 divided by a square plus a square into a square plus b square which is what I wanted. Okay. In, in fact uh, we can also change it to x square while uh, meaning whatever you wanted. So because uh, the variable doesn't matter here in definite integration so which means we can replace this by x square plus a square and x square plus b square into dx so, so the answer is that's all so that's the solve so what we have done here is we have used a small technique right that if you want to find out the for integration of f into g uh, then uh, what we thought was uh, it's enough to find the integration of Fourier cosine and trans cosine transform and sine transform of uh, the f and g. Therefore, uh, we'll get the Fourier transform. Therefore, we'll get the integration of this particular thing because right away integrating this particular expression is going to be difficult. Rather than uh, if you find out the corresponding f whose Fourier transformation is this particular product, uh, is going to be easier. That's the idea. All right, probably that's all for this video. Uh, solve the problems similar to this. Of course, uh, thank you for listening. I'll see you in some other video. Thank you, guys.